What's up guys? Ryan here from RPS Dent Specialists. Coming to you with another toll review and a little bit of an explanation of the B&D edge pliers and fender pliers. Let's get into this. What I'm bringing to you is the B&D edge pliers. I received these at MTE this year in Las Vegas, and this is his military edition. The green, it's got the military writing on the handle, and he actually customized it for me. And did Ryan Shut show me the money? Show me the money, B&D tools. So Mike did a really good job with these. I originally had the fender pliers. But I wanted the edge pliers, and I'm going to get into the reason why I wanted this, the edge pliers. He did make some updates on this. There were a couple issues when they first came out that this was pinching your hand when you would squeeze. So he radiused the corners here so it didn't pinch. But an awesome tool, what you do with this tool is you physically take a tip, screw it in the edge. And what you're gonna do is, you're gonna stick it on the edge of the door when you have a rolled over edge on a door. You're gonna go in here and it puts pressure on there and you just slowly work that edge out. You can either push, or a lot of times if it's really rolled over, I'll kind of grab it and pull this edge back over in a couple different spots. Really well made, aluminum. Uh, these are all anodized. It's just a really, really good tool. And what I really wanted to do was kind of get into the, the difference in between the fender and the edge pliers. So this is the edge pliers. A uh, little bigger draft, as you can see. Um, I originally bought these because I said, hey, these are the new ones. Should be able to do both. It can. Um, I think with this angle here, makes it a little more difficult for door edges. You don't get as much drive and as much power. But here's another uh, tool, all aluminum, anodized heads. You can adjust how far the edge is and how much power you want to put on it. And the other thing that was added in is these handles. Like I said to Mike, I said these are kind of your grandma ma's broom handle. Is what it reminds me, or hedge cutter handles. But it's actually really comfortable. Gives you a lot of drive. Same thing, you can put any threaded tip in here. All right, so one key feature that I did use this on just recently was a Ford bedside by the taillight. It's kind of smashed in there. It's aluminum, which we all love. Stuck this in, kind of worked that edge through the taillight opening, and it gave you enough opening here to get in there. So one of the biggest difference, as you can see, is the opening, how much longer they are. And that's mainly for fenders. So when you take these and you, you get up in the fender, you can get up over that lip and really get in. The other thing that is a little more smoother here, a little more cut out, and it's got the angle. And I'm gonna close both of these and you can see the angle of the handle. See how the top of it is elevated. And a lot of people have asked and asked Mike what the difference were. I, if you're gonna buy these, I almost think you should buy both. And the reason I say that is this tool right here gives you so much power on the edge of a door. This will work, but these definitely have more power. If you're doing door edges, buy these. If you're doing different types of things, edges of fenders, it does work on edges of doors, taillight pockets, buy these. That's why I have both. Both really, really well made. He's got some accessories coming out for these. I'm super excited. A little wider bridge, a little longer depth for different types of, of fender edges and, and headlight openings that you're using them on. But B&D knocked it out of the park. I was using the uh, edge jack from Shane Jacks. Did its purpose for a long time. Um, but these just a little more control, a little more line of sight is what I call it. So when you get it on that panel, you can really see exactly where you're pushing. I'll put a really, really sharp tip on here sometimes just to put, push one of those dents out right on the edge through both panels. These are freaking awesome. 
Get yourself to some at B and D Tools. Mike, you knocked it out of the park. Can't go wrong with these guys. But that is the difference in these two tools: the length, the size, and I wanted to give a quick explanation of what the difference was. Edge pliers, fender pliers. Get yourself some. Thanks for watching, guys. It's Ryan here, RPS Dent Specialist. See ya.